Om Shanti. Today is your 79th day of your beautiful Vardhan. A Vardhan which actually reminds us that how we can create a powerful attitude in an atmosphere which doesn't seem to be so powerful. How can we be powerful and change the attitude of other people and also the vibration of the place around where we live. We might succumb to it. We might be not able to become powerful when situations or people are not creating a nice pure vibration in that area, in that house, in that office or in that business place. But still, how can I be powerful and how can I be strong enough to be stable first and help others to change the vibration of that place? Let's explore what does Baba have to say over here. In this blessing, Baba says, May you be a master purifier. God is the purifier. He's the Patit Pavan. That's the work which he does. When we souls become very, very impure, he comes down on earth and he purifies the whole world. Starting with souls and the five elements. So may you be a master purifier, the child of purifier, who transforms any impure atmosphere with your powerful attitude. So impure atmosphere and with a powerful attitude. So let's go into the details. Baba says, no matter what the atmosphere may be like, your powerful attitude can transform the atmosphere. Atmosphere could be of jealousy, could be of anger, could be of competition. Could be of irritation amongst each other in the office, in the workplace, in your business, in your own home. So you could be having that kind of atmosphere where you disdain the other person, you look down upon the other person. But Baba says, your powerful attitude can transform that atmosphere. I will not bend down to that atmosphere, the impure atmosphere. Even if the atmosphere is full of vices, could be anger, greed, ego, jealousy and many more things. Your attitude should be viceless. I should not be affected by it. That means I should not be thinking about what is happening around me. I know what is happening around me, but to keep on pondering over it makes my mind also full of vices, judgmental. So Baba says those who make impure ones pure cannot be influenced by an impure atmosphere. Think about it. If I am wearing my bulletproof jacket, which protects me from anything from outside. Similarly, if I'm wearing my mental bulletproof jacket, where I'm observing, I know that everybody is a soul. Everybody has either a hero or a villain part. Let them play it. They'll get the karma or the effect of the karma as per their karmas. So I need not worry. I can decide whether I want to be a hero or a villain. So if I think about the villain and the script of the villain, which is villain is enacting, I myself will become the villain. So which script do I need to remember? I need to remember my hero script where I have good wishes for that soul. I have pure thoughts towards that soul because that is going to maintain my mental state into purity and will give me peace of mind. I should make sure that I realize that I have to be somebody who is an example and a sample to have an effect on others to purify themselves, not somebody who starts becoming impure by looking at others. So then Baba says, those who make impure ones pure cannot be influenced by an impure atmosphere. So what to do? Be a master purifier and finish an any impure or weak atmosphere with your powerful attitude. That can only happen when we are meditating early in the morning or we are thinking about the godly words or we are meditating on soul consciousness and looking at only ourselves and not looking at others' mistakes or others' problems or issues. But when we are strong, others' problems and issues and their mistakes already change, automatically change because of our powerful attitude. Do not create such an atmosphere by speaking about it. Don't talk about the atmosphere of your home, of your office, of your workplace to others by complaining about it, by relating to it, by saying, how can it be? How can that person do like this? Don't they have the wisdom? They have learned so much. They're so old and many more things which you can talk, think about to complain about it. That shows that your mental state has to be improved. That means the attitude has to change. The drishti or the vision towards other souls have to change. The whole larger part has to be understood as per God. What he has told us about the whole drama that every soul has got a fixed part and they will take the sanskars with them. And it's happening because of either lack of knowledge or with knowledge. 
With knowledge, you're improving yourself. Lack of knowledge, you can't improve yourself. So, Baba says, do not create such an atmosphere by speaking about it. To speak about a weak or impure atmosphere is also a sin. Think about it. We think that doing bad to others, cheating others or stealing money or talking lies or telling lies can only be considered as sin. But that's not it. Even creating a weak atmosphere by talking about that weakness to others also becomes a sin. Why? Because you feel peaceless and that is the result of the sin which you have done. Throughout the day, you're not able to focus. You're complaining. You're draining your energies out and you feel weaker and peaceless and frustrated. And that's the repercussion of the sin which you have done right now, you're doing right now. Think about it, go into depth, meditate on it. I leave you with this, Om Shanti.